Hey, Max. How you doing? Oh, hi, Mr. Jefferson. I'm okay. Um, and this is my friend, Chloe. Yo. Chloe? Why isn't somebody as cool as you going to Blackwell? I was way too cool for this school. It's a long story. In actual files here. I can imagine. Max, are you sure that you're all right? It's weird just being on campus like everything's normal. I know. Lame as it sounds, life has to go on. I think there's too much going on in my life. On that note, Blackwell duty calls. Remember, I'm going to announce the winner of the Everyday Heroes contest tonight at the party. So I hope you'll be there to celebrate. Even though I'm sorry you didn't enter a photo. I understand your reasons. You can't force an artist to work. So, you don't hate me for what I said to the principal? I'm proud of you for caring so much about a troubled friend. And I take hope in the fact that you have plenty of time to find your way. Just get in the habit of putting your work out there. Thanks, Mr. Jefferson. I'll definitely be there tonight. Me too. I'll be Max's date. You better dance with us at least once. And nobody should have to see me dance. Plus, you don't want to watch the old hipster trying to keep up with the kids. I have some pride. Be seeing you. Yes, you will. Hot for teacher. Gross! You are out of control. Not yet. Just wait until the rager tonight. <sighs> Shut up. Don't be jealous because Mark Jefferson thinks I'm cool. I am so ignoring you. Fine. Since I'm here, I'll see if I can get some dirt from Justin. I haven't talked to him in a while. Now that is a great plan. Let's see if I can find out where Nathan is. I had to clear away another batch of dead birds today. Sad. Makes me mad. Climate change isn't real my ass. I think everything is changing here. As a son How are you doing, Max? Been a tough week. I know. Yes, it has, Samuel. How are you? Sad and confused, like everybody else in Arcadia Bay. You look like you have a lot of questions, too. I definitely have questions about what's happening to the animals in Arcadia Bay. Oh, many do. These poor creatures have no choice in what happens to them. How can anybody explain all those poor beached whales? My dad was a fisherman, and he'd take me out to hear the whales sing. Now they... they just cry. Do you think this is some kind of eco-disaster, or...? I think it's more than that. Somebody is causing all this to happen. You think so, Samuel? You and Arcadia Bay are... Connected by time and tide. So, next time I have a question, I'm coming to you. Well, I'm glad to see your squirrels are still healthy and happy on the campus. Me too. If something happened to them, oh... Not as long as you're here to take care of them, Samuel. The only thing that calms them is food. <laughs> Lots of food. Which reminds me... Th that I have to feed them now. I'm fascinated. As Michelle Grant, I'm very worried. Arcadia How Bay would you like a partner for a quick photo op? The weather and the animals. Not to mention poor Kate Ma. Sorry to bother you again, Samuel. There's no bother here, Max. I still have a million questions about what's happening to Arcadia Bay. Th that must be why Miss Gant says you're one of her favorite students at Blackwell. I'd rather be in her class than the Vortex Club. Yes, you would. Rachel saw right through them. She's not the only one. Nobody should be trapped in the Vortex Club. Get out now, Max. While time is on your side. 
I keep thinking that Rachel Amber has a few answers. If we can find her. If Rachel wants to be found. Do you think she's alive? She'll always be alive in our hearts. Sometimes that's all we have left. But... Max, all I can tell you is to stay on your path and you'll find what you're looking for. Rachel Amber is waiting too. Even though Miss Grant likes me, I have zero science skills to explain that eclipse. As I was just saying to her, that's because science has no explanation. No offense to Miss Grant here, but this is just the beginning. How do you know that? I'm genuinely curious. You just have to open your eyes. Then, you can see what's coming. That's why I can sense something bigger is coming to Arcadia Bay. And Max, I don't like it at all. More questions than answers. Samuel is always here to talk. Have you seen Nathan Prescott around? I try not to. So, what do you know about Nathan? I know enough to not want to know anymore. Well, okay, enough said. You know a lot of Blackwell's secrets, so I, I thought you could help me. Max, I I'm a custodian, not a psychic. I can only help by warning you to be careful. Blackwell is so sad and quiet since Kate isn't here anymore. Yes. You can tell that the campus is different now. And you reached out to her when everybody turned away. It could have gone either way. Samuel, do you think that we each have a destiny? Yes, I, I do, Max. In many different lifetimes, of course. Kate Marsh believed in something different, so... That's her destiny. I believe you. Kate just needed some more helpful spirits like her friend Max. I hope she finds them now. Do you ever talk with David Madsen? He talks to me. I listen. That's how David operates. He sees things, not people. But I, I think he sees you, Max. Why do you say that? Because you both see with cameras. I think you have better vision than both of us. <laughs> no, Max. I, I just look at everything from a different angle. I definitely have questions. Uh oh. M what do you think about all those dying birds? Samuel had to bury dozens near the Tabanga. What happened to them? I would say the sky is too dirty for their wings, but something worse is in the air. It's so ominous. Unless it's fate, then it doesn't matter. I'm sorry. I better get going now. Now, who can I ask? These days. Hi, Miss Grant. Max, you always show up when I'm talking about you. And I swear, it's not about that petition you didn't sign. I was looking for Nathan Prescott, and I thought he might be in your class. I'm surprised, Max. I didn't think you and Nathan were exactly friends. Just study partners. I can't believe he does have friends. That depends what your definition is. But I'd like to see more friendships at Blackwell, less bullying, especially after this week. Me too, Miss Grant. So, you don't know where Nathan is? I saw him sulking off campus earlier. But you look like you have more on your mind than a question. I was hoping you could explain some of these crazy things happening in Arcadia Bay. If I could, 
I'd be collecting my Nobel Prize in science today. I haven't been able to wrap my mind around that eclipse, much less the snow in Wales. There must be a scientific explanation, right? When my friends at NASA tell me they can't explain a solar eclipse without a single theory as to how or why, maybe it's time to get worried. Like they are. I am worried about reality. I feel like it's changing right in front of us. You and Samuel both. We were talking about that before you came over. Our planet is changing, but it's not mystic. It's erosion. So... You don't think this could be some kind of prophecy or something? Max, you know how fascinated I am by Arcadia Bay legends. But I haven't found any apocalyptic signs yet. Unless you count those end-of-the-world posters. Unless you know something I don't. What about wormholes and chaos theory? They're like time travel stuff. The only wormholes in Arcadia Bay are underground. And chaos theory is just that. But if this is about time travel, sign me up. Would you really change time? Not after reading that Bradbury story, A Sound of Thunder. I won't give it away, but it involves dinosaurs and butterflies. Time is like a thread, Max. One tug and it all can unravel. I don't think surveillance would have helped Kate Marsh. Oh, Max, I'm so sorry you had to go through that. Kate is the sweetest student I've ever met at Blackwell. And they can be so cruel to each other. Do you need to talk to a counselor? Uh, no, no thanks, Miss Grant. I have my best friend and my parents. For now. I'm happy to hear that, Max. Just don't ever be afraid to talk to somebody, okay? I wish Kate had come to me. I had no idea what she was going through. Oh, Kate was drugged at the mom. Vortex Club party and bullied by them until she ended up on the roof. How do you stop that? Shut down that damn Vortex Club for a start. I don't mean to get riled up, but that party should have been postponed. It's extremely tasteless given what happened with Kate. Do the Prescotts have anything to do with the Vortex Club? I mean, they don't get all their money from car washes. No, they don't. But membership has its privileges. Especially when your father is Blackwell's biggest sponsor. This elitist nonsense has no place here. You're right. I, I just wish this could be the school that I dreamed about before I came here. I hear you, Max. I love seeing you and Warren and all my students at your best here. But you're all too young to be so cynical. But you truly give me hope. I'm sorry, Miss Grant. I, I have to get going. I I'll see you later. It's always good talking to you, Max. Good. Nathan is not around. I should go back to Chloe. Coast is clear. It would be so cool if you and me were going to school here together. But now you can have Mr. Jefferson all to yourself. Ugh, oh, you suck. Now let's get into Blackwell Ninja mode. It's so lame, they don't have co-ed dorms here. Yes, because I want Nathan Prescott in the room next door. Good point. Wait here. Give me the signal if Nathan or anybody shows up. I won't let you down, Batmax. Now I just have to find Nathan's room. Evan. Of course. That's why no shits were given. Evan rolls. Oh, why, hello, Trevor and Dana. 
Even after Kate, nobody here learned anything about bullying. Are toilet paper wars mandatory in the dorms? Zach or Logan? Who knows? Bro's got a bro. This can only be Nathan's room. Now I need to find Nathan's phone. I don't think this prescription has helped Nathan. Nathan is way into this party. Bad sign. Now I remember why I hate you, and why Kate will get justice. Oh man, Sean Prescott might be Nathan's real problem. Too bad Nathan isn't more like his sister. She sounds awesome. Yes, Nathan sure needs diet pills. This is wow. <laughs> Kiss ass much, Principal Wells. I'd cry too if I had him for a father and had to wear that suit. Holy shit, that's the gun Nathan used on Chloe. A gift from... Nathan likes his tortured subjects way too much. Nathan took this from Kate's altar. Why? What is with this dude? Oh man, that dickhead stole one of my selfies. That looks like a totally fun show. Even Nathan has a light side. Damn, Nathan. That's a nice shot. It's so damn creepy, but... I don't think one book can guide the Prescotts. That is so Chloe. Oh my God, Chloe, oh, Chloe. I really hope they were all consenting models. What the hell are all those marks on the floor? Let's find out what you're hiding. Oh yes, little phone. You are mine now. Now I have Nathan's phone, so I can show it to Chloe. Well, before Nathan comes back. Damn, Max, you're finally back. I got worried. So what did you find? His room was clean and creepy. Check this out. 
Boom, Nathan. We got you by the balls, fucker. What are you doing in my dorm? You're such a nosy bitch, Max. Stop right there, Nathan. Make me, ho. <clears throat> Max, I got this. Get the fuck out of my face. You are so fucking dead! Uh, Get off me, bro! Uh, oh. You like to hurt people, huh? Like Max? Like Kate? Like me? Huh? Feel this, motherfucker! Who's the bitch now? Chloe! Damn, Warren went full alpha on Nathan. Me like that, huh? You and you, you're all dead. Let's go now. Plus, my dad is on his way. You're all fucked. He owns you. Okay, we're gonna go back to the previous. Even if Nathan definitely deserved a beating, we should try to be better than that. Yeah, I'm sorry, but I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go back to the first option. I don't know why, but watching a bully get his ass beat is actually kind of the uh, most precious thing ever. You like Damn, that was intense. Warren. Uh Thank you so much. For what? For beating the shit out of Nathan Prescott? Dude, you rule. I don't know. I kind of went crazy there. Like Nathan. You're not anything like him. Good to know. So where are you going? I better stick with you guys. Just in case you need me to get my Hulk on again. Or should I call the cops on Nathan? No police. Not yet. Uh, so maybe you better... Um... Warren, me and Max have to do this on our own. No offense. It's cool. Whatever I can do to help. What you can do is find out anything you can about Nathan's father. I'm on it. Between the snow and eclipse, I'm assuming the apocalypse is around the corner. And thank you. Seriously. I'll call you later. You better. I'm feeling pretty alpha now. Yes, you are. Man, that guy is so fucking in love with you. I know. He really did give a serious beatdown to Nathan. It was a little scary to watch him do that. Now let's make a date with Frank. Will he even answer you? Frank always answers when he wants money. Like I said, Frank wants to see me right now. Let's not keep him waiting. This chapter is pretty intense, but I'm actually liking it. I thought it was gonna actually drag on from the opposite war, the opposite timeline, but uh, yeah, this is actually continuing on pretty smoothly. God, 
I hate seeing those poor whales like that. Me too. I just think of their families in the ocean out there looking for them. Well, that asshole is going to help us find Rachel. Or what? You'll actually shoot him? Chloe, do not count on my rewind. Seriously. Obviously, I'm not counting on you. That's why I have a gun. And I might even save you someday. About time. I am so going to hit you. There's no way we could have guessed this is what would happen to us when we grew up. I'm looking forward to the day when we can just go on a road trip to Portland. Fuck yeah. You, me, and Rachel. Absolutely. So let's play this cool, okay? Just pay Frank his money, and then we can get that code for the book from him. That's all. Got it. No dicking around. Let's roll. Frank doesn't need tinted windows when they're this dirty. Oh, look. The Wonder Twins. You should have come alone. She's my partner. Yeah, we're bodyguard. So let's get to business. Where's my fucking money? Oh, I thank you. That wasn't so hard now, was it? And let's not do any more business again. Now, if you excuse me. Frank, could we ask you a couple quick questions? You have some serious lady balls. No. Jesus, okay, okay. But I'm not getting you high. Frank, we're not here to get high. No, you don't look like the type. Not like Chloe here. So what do you hardy boys want? Just the names of some of your clients. Oh, is that all? Oh, well, why didn't you just tell me? How about I just give you the keys to my RV while I'm at it? You already did. Ah, oh, you fucking mental. I lost my keys, but I changed the lock. You better goddamn not be snooping around here. No, no, I'm not. I... Christ, I hate you, Blackwell shits. You expect everything for free. You're not getting any handouts from me. I work for a living, you understand? Yes, Frank. Without those Blackwell shits as customers, you wouldn't have any work at all. Dude, you're a drug dealer. Yeah, right, okay. Both of you are giving me a headache. No deal. Frank, we didn't come here to fight. This is so much bigger than us. Oh, yeah, you didn't come here to fight. A day after, you pulled a fucking gun on me. I... I am so sorry about that. It might be the dumbest thing I've ever done. And I've done a lot of dumb things this week. Finally, I believe you. But don't ever aim a gun at anybody unless you intend to kill. Although you don't look like you could kill a bug. I, I try not to. And I never would have pulled the trigger. I was just... Dude, she was scared, all right? You pulled your blade on me. We were all freaked out. Now we're all cool. Please? Okay. We're cool for now. But my dog isn't. And if you try any shit, he will bite your head off. He's done it before. We're only here to talk. I wouldn't mess with your dog. Shit, you wouldn't have time. You like dogs?
Chloe and I gave your doggy a bone when we... So you're the ones who let him out? You broke in here and let my dog out? What the fuck? Wait, that's not what... Seriously, Frank, don't get all spun out. We're only here to find Rachel. Rachel isn't in here! And I'll spin you on your ass. What the fuck are you dorks up to, huh? Trying to break into my business? This time, the price is wrong, skank! Calm down, Frank. Let's just talk. Don't you ever tell me what to do. Get it, bitch! Get it! Step the fuck back now! Papadou! You fucking killed my dog! Oh my god! No! Chloe... I just shot a man... and his dog. I killed Frank Bowers. You saved my life, Chloe. It, it, it was self-defense for both of us. Max? Frank is really dead. I know. But we can't stop now. We have to find that code. Fast. Before the co cops come. That's it. Let's get out of here. Sorry, friend. I'm sorry. I need to hit this rewind or cancel. Listen, Chloe. I can tell you for a fact that this will not go well. Max, I should have known you would be kind and rewind. So tell me exactly what I need to do here. Be careful, okay? Don't give Frank any excuses to go ballistic. We need his help, Chloe. You know, I'm not a total fuck-up. Occasionally I can be both cool and careful. Like now, okay? Oh, look. The Wonder Twins. You should have come alone. She's my partner. Yeah, we're bodyguard. So let's get to business. Where's my fucking money? I... I don't have the money. Yet. Oh, really? Then why did you text me that you did? Because I wanted to tell you in person. Oh, I'm truly touched, Chloe. Now why are you losers really here? We just want to ask you some questions. You have some serious lady balls. <laughs> no. Jesus, okay. Okay. But I'm not getting you high. Thanks for hearing me out, Frank. Look, we only want to talk, and it's not even about you. We're not here to start a fight. 
No, that shit would be over pretty fast. Don't fuck with me, and I won't return the favor. So what do you want? Just the names of some of your... Oh, is that all? Oh! You don't get it, man. This is for a good cause. No, man, I do not get it. Especially from a weirdo like you. You know, I hate the way you talk to me like you... Like you know more than I do. No, no, I'm not. I... Oh, Christ, I hate you, Blackwell. Yes, Frank, without those Blackwell... Let's just talk. Don't you ever tell me what to do. Tell you, Max, I should have. You won't like this, but you need to get rid of that gun. No, Max, I don't like that at all. But I trust you. And girl, if I need that gun, you better rewind fast. Frank, uh, your dog is kind of scary. Could you please close the RV door? You aim your gun at me, but you're scared of my dog? That figures. Okay, there, you're safe. Now what do you want? Just the names of... Oh, is that... Listen, Frank, I'm sorry to be such a nuisance, but this is important. Yeah, yeah, everything's important these days. But I can tell you're not bullshitting me. There's no time for that, Frank. I, I just need a little bit of information. Yeah, yeah, well, it always starts with just a little. And Chloe here knows all about that, don't you? Come on, Frank, this isn't about me now. Yeah, right, okay. Both of you are giving me a headache. No deal. Frank... We did. Oh, yeah, you didn't come here to fight. A day after you pulled. I. Finally, I believe you. But don't ever aim a gun. I. I try not to. And I never would have. Dude, she was scared, all right? You pulled your blade on me. We were all freak. We're cool for now. But my dog isn't. And if you try any. Sh we're only here to talk. I wouldn't mess with your dog. Shit, you wouldn't have time. Of course I do. I heard you even rescued a bunch of fight dogs. That's amazing. No, all right, it was just the right thing to do. I couldn't stand to see those poor animals treated like, like slaves. That's how I came to own Pompadou. That's very cool, Frank. Your dog is lucky you came along. Maybe we can focus on rescuing Rachel now? Rachel? Is that why you're really here? Yes. We're so close to finding her now, Frank. We need all the help we can get now. Especially from you. You and Chloe do not know Rachel like I did, and I couldn't even help her. You're in way over your heads. Why don't you just go play in your clubhouse? Rachel said she gave you one of her favorite photos. That proves how much she cares. And you care. That's why you have to help. How the hell did you know about that photo? That's my favorite picture of her. I can look at it any time and she'll always be there for me. I can't stand not knowing where she is. Not hearing her voice. Or her laugh. Anymore. We can change all that. It's up to you. 
Help us find her, Frank. Please. We really need your client list. Well, if there's a chance in hell, you two dorks can find Rachel. Yeah, I'll take it. My dog isn't barking at you, so I guess that's a good sign. Thank you. Yeah, thanks, Frank. Seriously. It's hard to take you characters seriously, but I want to. Good luck. Okay, we did it right. That was cool Frank gave up the code to help us. Rachel must have seen something good in him. Chloe, are you okay? I'm glad things worked out okay with Frank. It's nice to have one less enemy in Arcadia Bay. Amen to that. I better focus on this board and start. Thanks to David's own investigation, I should be able to find out what Nathan did during the party's week. Okay, so this, let's see here. <clears throat> we have a coordinates. not working. Looks like David was tracking somebody's car. Maybe even Nathan's. Good clue. Okay, this is just sad, Max. Looks like this is not relevant at all. I'll have to analyze these plates and coordinates to see if Nathan was under David's surveillance. Spies are us. This is like goddamn math. I suck. Hey, Max, see if you can put together all those Rubik's clues. Just holla if you need any info while I go online to make sure we haven't missed anything. This makes no sense, Max. And that's all she wrote. <sighs> Please let me find some clues about Nathan in here. Great. Now, how do I find out which car is Nathan's to match the coordinates? Nope. Maybe I should try to link other clues together. Come on. Deduce Nathan's license plate number, then match it up with the coordinates. This is like goddamn math. I suck. Looks like this isn't the right combination. 
Okay, Nathan's taillight is busted. And I'm pretty sure I saw that on one of the license plate photos. Oh, you're treading water, Otter. Try again. Okay, this is just sad, Max. Okay, Nathan's taillight is busted. And I'm pretty sure I saw that on one of the license plate photos. Those clues are not related. Okay, so let's have a look here. This makes no sense, Max. Okay, Nathan's taillight is busted. And I'm pretty sure I saw that on one of the license. Oh, fail, abort. Wrong clues. Okay, Nathan's taillight is busted. And I'm pretty sure I saw that on one of the license plate photos. Looks like this is not relevant at all. No, this is not working. Okay, Nathan's taillight is busted. And I'm pretty sure, Max, there's no logical link between those clues. Huh. Who else was David tracking here? Interesting. Is this Nathan's car? Hmm. Huh. Who does this car belong to? Damn. I, I must have missed something. Of course Nathan drives an SUV. Overcompensating, as usual. F-X-F-T. Yep, another car David was tracking. Why the hell are you following these people? And to where? Oh yes, now we're finally getting somewhere. Chloe, let's plug in these numbers and see if they lead to an actual address. Aye aye, Captain. Here we come, Rachel. Let's look at Frank's drug deals during the week of the party. Rot must stand for Rottweiler. That does fit Nathan. Rotten. Okay, so let's have a look here. So, what happened to Rachel after this? She dumped Frank, but... I don't think he would hurt her. There's no doubt she loved him in some way. So weird how close they were. But Frank could... Maybe Rachel took a road trip with Frank, but she did come back. Frank's account book. But the client names are encrypted. Frank is for sure the local dealer, but I, I doubt Rachel was carrying drugs for him, right? Oh, no, this is not working. I bet I could suss out some major clues in Frank's account book. If yes, the game is on. Now, talk to us, account book. Tell us everything. Let's see if I can find any deal Frank... Okay, Max. Remember these names and see how Nathan fits in with all this. Okay, so Rod. 
Frank sure is keeping his customers satisfied. He could open a store. Everybody in Arcadia Bay must be high. That explains a lot. If Frank applied this kind of detail to his life, who am I to talk? I wonder what dog name Frank would have given me. There. Huh. Two deals with Nathan on the same day? Party. I'm getting a contact high just reading this. These are all the times and places for Frank and Nathan's deals. Uh, that's it, Max. Hey, Max. See if you can put together all those Rubik's clues. Just holla if you need any info while I go online to make sure we haven't missed anything. to analyze Nathan's messages. What could help me unlock this phone? Couldn't hurt to give this pin code a whack. Oh, there has got to be some good shit in his phone. I just need the code to unlock it. Holy shit. Nathan is seriously unhinged. But those numbers might be. Oh, I'm not sure about that. <laughs> oh, so busted. It's good to see the Prescotts can't cover up all their tracks. This is the Vortex Club party where Nathan drugged Kate. Did he do the same thing to Rachel at another party? There's a lot of numbers in here. If there is a dark room, we better find it. It's a good thing Chloe slipped all these files on her flash drive. Okay, Max, let's blow this code up and go home. Start hacking. Oops, bad code. Uh, zero zero five eight. Yeah, I knew it wouldn't be that easy. Nine five three five. You locked it, dumbass. Four four three six. Oops, bad code. Four 
five four three one. Oops, bad code. Three nine eight eight. Bad code. It's five four two, but that's not complete. Looking for a four digit. Maybe seventy sixty three. Oops, bad code. Uh, ten ten. <sighs> yeah, I knew it wouldn't be that easy. One zero three. Oops, bad code. Seventy sixty three. <sighs> yeah, I knew it wouldn't be that easy. Zero one nine eight. Oops, bad code. Let's try the year, um, nineteen ninety five. <sighs> yeah, I knew it wouldn't be that easy. I wonder. Five four two. Oops, bad code. What about seven six eight nine? Yeah, I knew it wouldn't be that easy. It's gotta be in here somewhere. Bad code.
or I have an idea here. Yes, uh, this is all about Nathan trying to score for the Vortex Club party. Oh, Nathan was jonesing hard the night of the party. Oh, he didn't have enough drugs. Drug dealer drama. God, Nathan, so it was you. Now I can officially call you a psycho stalker. Is this from Nathan's father? That's brutal. Take a breath, Max. Go through all this data, and you can find out where Nathan took Kate after the party. Hmm. Right, so this we need to put together. We have ourselves the poster, we have ourselves the logbook, and of course. That beach is like Frank's main office. Right. So all I got in there. I know Nathan wasn't looking for Bigfoot in the forest. Just gotta think. I think we're gonna need to start with the
1007 free 50. Was Frank meeting Nathan at the junkyard? If Joyce knew what Nathan did to Chloe, she would fry his ass. Oh, that has to be the Prescott estate. Poor rich Nathan. 1007 free 50. 107. Ten seven three fifty PM. Somebody is stocking up on gas. No doubt that Nathan stays in his dorm room. So he could be hiding clues there too. Not much out there. We have to think that we have to match these up in certain ways, like, um... So, this infamous party was the fourth. Chloe, this is definitely the place. Let me dig up some more clothes here. Nope. Nothing, Max. There's nothing here. Just some shitty old barn. Let's keep searching and find out who owns this haunted barn. I'm on this. Hold on. Somebody named Harry Aaron Prescott. I'm shocked. Should we call the police? Fuck that. You know the police here are like Nathan's private security, right? That's so messed up. As you've noticed, this whole town is messed up. 
We can't trust anybody, except each other. So we have to go out to that farmhouse by ourselves. I was afraid you'd say that. We could call Warren since he kicked Nathan's ass. It's just the two of us, nobody else. And I'm not scared at all. You have the power. I feel like we're this close to finding Rachel. We have to find her, Max. We will. But remember, my power isn't infinite. We still have to be careful. Do you hear, Chloe? Yes, sir. Here, let's go find the best way in. Whoa, check this out. Fresh tire tracks. Dude, somebody was just here. Then we need to get in that barn. These are thick tracks and definitely fresh. Nathan's SUV? door. Come on. Oh, yes. Maximus rules. God, this is way too Blair Witch. I have goosebumps all over. Come on, Super Max. Hey, check out this old chest. A little louder, Chloe. Jeez. That is ancient. Jackpot. Old shit. No, uh, look closer. Harry Aaron Prescott and family donate new library to Arcadia Bay. Prescott Industries celebrate grand opening. The Prescotts bring bomb shelter boom to town. Nice scrapbook. You search for more clues and I'll scope out the area. Yes, old Prescott clippings. This tractor has paid its dues. Wow, sir. Talk about home on the range. There's no way this rusty ass button will activate these ropes or pulleys. Even Harry Aaron Prescott was into selfies. Chloe would make a great detective too. Damn, lots of Ah, the good old days. The info here. So many haystacks, so few need so many haystacks, so few needles. Huh. These hooks are used to lift haystacks. I saw them in a Friday the 13th movie. If a zombie shows up, I have my weapon. Yep. What 
is this? I don't know why I've been getting that kind of it, nervous. It's nervous totally feeling. brand new. Why? No, Supermax. You can't open this with your bare hands. I'm getting that kind of weird, strange feeling in the back of my uh, mind. You know, the one where it's like, uh, you know, some shit's gonna go down soon. Sidekick at your service. I feel that whatever's down there is going to completely change the course of this game. Huffing away, Supermax. I dig having minions. pull this rope without tearing my flesh off. I need to hook this up to something heavier. Here's the other end of the rope. Looks sturdy enough to stand on. are fossilized. I need something strong to smash this padlock. Looks sturdy enough to stand on. I got the idea now.
Okay, folks, so here we go. This is the, um, the moment. Max Giver strikes again. to say how weird this is? He just did. Who built this kind of place? A press god, of course. It looks like a bomb shelter, because they did actually mention in the clippings that they did bring bomb shelters into Arcadia Bay. This bunker is so surreal. Wait a minute, I remember something. The, the red numbers from the sheet. Oh, oh my yes! God. I thought that only worked in the movies. Because they were in red before we tried adding the final login. Open sesame. <coughs> Stocked and ready for the apocalypse. This must have cost a fortune. Come on. Why do I feel like those files are down here somewhere? Now what the hell is this? I've never seen so much pricey equipment before. These newspapers are all about Rachel and Kate. Somebody hikes their whiskey. Showing in this room. So who's using this fancy tripod? Needles. Gross. This must be the crap that Nathan gets from Frank. That's an original signed illustration. Fits perfect in here. I guess Nathan needs the most expensive printer in the world. Oh my god, it is. We're in the bowels Come of our Let's see what this shit is all about. We are. Okay, a binder marked Victoria, but it's empty. Look, the next one says Kate. Oh no, Kate. No. God, I should have killed that bastard back there. Kate wasn't the first. All those binders are filled with other victims. This is from, <sighs> this is from uh, chapter Victoria two. Victoria has to be next. Nathan must be planning to dose her tonight at the Vortex Club party. Rachel. This can't be real. These are all, these are all post shots, right? Right? Chloe, look at her face. She's out of it. Maybe, maybe Nathan paid her a shitload of cash to do this. She probably would have. I don't think so. 
Why is he putting her in the ground like that? Where? The junkyard! Max, we have to find that spot now! Then, then we can see what he did. There's no way she's dead. No way! She posed for those pictures, Max. I know it. Please, let's go. Fuck. So this is the room where all the files were. Oh my god. Rachel. Kate. Let's see what's in here. Oh my god. No. This picture is framed different. Rachel is awake and fucking furious. Rachel is passed out and she has something in her mouth. This shot is so staged. I, I, I can't believe it's real. I can't. This is really, really fucked up. So what we see here is most likely is something far more fucked up. So besides an actual storm, we are looking at the process of a sociopath. Chloe, slow down! Wait for me! I know exactly where I'm going! This is it! This is it! Are you gonna help me, Max? Chloe, stop! Look! Please, no! Oh! oh that smell! Rachel! Oh. her spirit, her spirit animals. Throughout the entire game, we've been hearing about spirit animals and what they can represent. I mean, what if that is her, like somehow communicating alongside? Oh boy. And it's not over yet, because in the trailer we see that the party is part of this. I hope Nathan enjoys his last party. Chloe, we can go right to the cops. We have proof. Fuck the police. Rachel wanted us to find her. So we could get real justice. And revenge. If I may just quickly intervene. Throughout the game, we've had processes of spirit animals and the belief in them. So I'm kind of thinking here that that doe is somehow the spirit of Rachel. Her body's dead, but somehow as an act of revenge or as a way of hinting. There is that bound connection that she is communicating with somebody who knows Chloe. Max is now the, the 
person who is attaining this power to reverse time in order to make sure that certain events align. The Prescotts have had this coming for a hundred years, and nobody is going to get in my way. Especially with your help. Right? I'm with you to the end, Chloe. You know that. It is pretty fucked up, though, isn't it? I can't tell if they're different. What is that? that? Can't be too Jesus, moved. Chloe, look up at the sky. Possible. Beautiful. I don't give a shit. The world is ending. Cool. You're not listening. Something major is going down. That's right. Nathan Prescott is going down. Welcome to the end of the world, ladies. I'm glad you decided to escort me. You look really good, Warren. Are you alright after today? I really flipped out on Nathan. I just hate bullies. And Max, he's dangerous. Where is he? I didn't see him at the dorm again. I was held up in my room. Dude, have you been drinking? <laughs> well, if you consider half a beer drinking. Let's go, Max. Hey, hey. I know this is a bad time, but can I get one picture? I've been feeling like this might be actually the end of the world, so I want to have something for prosperity. Well, I don't blame you, Warren. I know, I know. I'm a pain in the booty. Just one picture. Uh... Action. We've got no time for this shit. Come on, Max. Sorry. I just wanted to feel like a normal student after this week's ultra-violence. I never hit anybody like that before. I was always the one getting my ass kicked. Hey, we still need your expert help. If you see Nathan, text me immediately, okay? And do not let him see you. He won't. I know how to be invisible here. Not to me, Warren. Text soon. <sighs>
take him down. Energy drinks, soda, energy drinks. I know somebody has the booze. There's Courtney drinking alone without Taylor or Victoria. I wonder why. I almost didn't see you. Max, you're the only person I don't mind seeing right now. I was looking for Nathan. I've avoided almost everybody here tonight. Uh, why are you looking for Nathan? I want to make sure he's not going to do anything tonight. Like what happened to Kate. Oh, wait, I did see Nathan today. Nursing a busted face. I had dreams that somebody finally kicked his ass. Well, Luke, sometimes dreams come true. Warren gave him an epic beatdown. Yes, give it up for Brother Warren. Now all we have to do is drive all these goddamn Prescott vampires out of town. I think Sean Prescott wants to drive all of us out of town. Or into Pan Estates. I met him once at a Bigfoots game. Mean fucking bastard. Oh man, he explains Nathan. Preach it, Brother Luke. Okay, I have to get going. Um, thanks for seeing me. Oh, thank you. But for helping Kate. And for keeping it real. Peace out. but I'm going in. Sorry, but this is the VIP section. Members only. Okay? I don't give a shit about being a member. I just want to talk Victoria to Nathan. Victoria specifically told me not to let you in. Nice try. Too bad you're not a member. Listen! No, you listen. Courtney is supposed to be the VIP gatekeeper, not me. So please go. I need to find a way to enter this bullshit club. I'm so not impressed by this VIP crap. God, are you mental? You can't come in. What would a shitty party be without glow sticks? Maximum overdrive, about time you got here to save this lame rave. Wanna get ripped? Uh, you look pretty ripped already, Justin. And not happy. Why did you even come tonight? Where else could I go in Arcadia Bay on a Thursday night? Besides, Dana is here. She's not with me. So yes, this party sucks. Speaking of, have you seen Nathan? Oh, he should be freaking out in the VIP lounge with that whore tex club. Fucking hate those snobby douchebags. Especially Nathan. That dude is gonna go on a rampage soon. You might be right, so stay away from him tonight, okay? Spread the word. Max, I know I'm twisted, but your face looks so fucking intense. And your voice sounds different. You okay? How about a quick dab? Uh, no, I'm, I'm cool, Justin. And I have to get going. Maybe you should go chill somewhere else. Fucking A, Maximus. You're right. I'm only torturing myself here. Plus, I'm too loaded. It's time to get my board and grind. The tide is turning. I'd like to tear every one of these things down. I'm never leaving this toilet. This is my last Vortex Club party. Alyssa, are 
Are you okay? Yes, I just got tagged by a water weenie and fell in the pool. I'm great. I guess I can't expect him to warn me like he did last time. Not now, Max. I'm soaking wet thanks to those morons in their stupid pool drill. Is the vortex cause. So his ass has to be here tonight. I heard they put in like the arts and vortex clock. You get worse than my dad. Ooh, yes. Yay, Max! I can't believe you showed up. Why didn't you tell me? We could have dressed up together. As you can tell by my outfit, I, I was in a hurry. Dana, have you seen Nathan around? Hell no, I've been dancing with Trevor. Come on and dance with us. <laughs> Look at Trevor trying to bust a move. You guys look really happy together. I think we are. <laughs> He's so different than Logan. We actually talk about life. And he knows how to be safe. I hear you, Dana. But I want you to avoid Nathan if you see him, okay? I will if I want to have fun. I still feel sorry for him. He needs help, but not from his family. What do you know about his dad, Sean Prescott? Uh, rich and rich. And a dickhead, according to Nathan. The Prescotts can't buy a happy family or a happy club. Sounds like you're ready for a change. I don't need any club to be cool or have friends. <laughs> Look at you. Plus, I like hanging with Trevor and his skater friends. No drama. That sounds like a plan, Nathan. I'm glad Trevor is with you tonight. Thanks. <laughs> the boy cannot dance, though. Look at that. I know Victoria is next on Nathan's hit list. Should I warn her? I think my photo is very powerful. Victoria, your picture... Sorry, Max. Vortex Club members only. Sorry. I'm on the guest list. I'm taking you off. Go fuck yourself, me, Victoria. I don't have time for this bullshit. Real cute, Max. And after I apologized to you the other day. Do you even have a clue what's going on at Blackwell? Kate Marsh killed herself in front of you and me, everybody here. That's not my fault, Max. Don't you even try to blame me. I blame Nathan for dosing Kate, but nobody at that party even cared she was so wasted. It's a fucking party! Everybody is wasted! What do you want from me? Some humanity, Victoria. I'm the only person here who cares what Nathan is going through. I'm not the only problem child at Blackwell. This is bigger than a problem child. I'm not perfect, okay? I'm a teenager at an art school. I'm only here to become a photographer and get famous. You have talent, Victoria. You don't have to push people out of your way. You don't understand. My parents own a gallery. I know how this art game has to be played. It's brutal. No, it's art. You don't have to play their way. Look at me, I got the judge of the contest suspended. On point, Max. 
Thanks for admitting again that I have some talent. Not that I think I always do. I don't either, but that's the choice you make. Hard to believe, but I don't always make the best choices. Do you think it's like fake we're not supposed to be friends? Why the hell not? We're both into art and photography. We're both kind of weird and pretentious. If we hung out with our attitude, we'd get along fine. I almost asked you to hang out. You said my photos were Abaddon-esque. Then I remembered who I was. You should have asked me. It would have been cool to compare photo notes. Maybe we're too much alike. You might be right. Well, Max Caulfield, there's still time for you to get in the Vortex Club. I actually hope so, Victoria. Why do you say it like that? Victoria, listen to me. Your life is in serious danger. I know Nathan is your friend, but he is truly unstable and dangerous. He did drug Kate to that party so he could take her someplace dark. What? Nice try, Max. But I don't believe you. And why would he do that? That I don't know yet. But it was enough to make Kate want to die. And I think you're next. Max, that is crazy. Nathan is like one of my best friends. Yes, he takes serious meds, but that's not his fault. His family treats him like a total freak just because he has little meltdowns. They're not little anymore. They're deadly. I, I don't care if you hate me or not, but you have to believe me. You could have been a major bitch to me when I got hit with that paint, and I deserved it. Max, I don't hate you. I actually think you're one of the coolest people at Blackwell. Weird, but cool. You just don't know it yet. Maybe I'm jealous because you don't give a shit what anybody thinks, and I do. To be honest, Nathan has been freaking me out lately. He's not here, and I haven't seen him. Just make sure you stay away from him. And stick close to your friends tonight, okay? I let you boss me around this one time. And I have other people I can go to for protection. Thanks for telling me this, Max. If what you said is true, then you be careful too. I've got my own protection. Um, text me if you need anything. I will. Thanks, Victoria. Au revoir. Maybe there's hope yet for Victoria and me. I'm glad I warned her. Oh good, Chloe. Chloe, Nathan isn't here. Nobody has seen him tonight. He's definitely not upstairs or in the locker. Damn. Maybe he's hiding in his dorm. Then let's bail. Nathan can't hide anymore. So, you made it, Max. Oh, uh, hey, Mr. Jefferson. Uh, are you both okay? You look like you're on a, a mission. Oh, uh, I was just looking for Nathan. Uh-huh. I didn't know you were pals with him. I haven't seen him since this afternoon. He, he seemed pretty upset. I think he's still quite upset over the, uh, the whole Kate situation. Yeah, that makes sense. Let's talk later, Max. I have to announce the winner of the contest. I do wish you would have entered. You have to build up that resume and portfolio, but I know you will. Thanks. I hope so. Okay, excuse me. I'm almost on. Let's get the hell out of here, Max. Okay, okay, everybody calm down. Thank you. Thank you. I, I appreciate it. I, I don't want to get in the way of the party, but it's time to announce the winner of the Everyday Heroes Contest. Before I do, I want to thank everybody who entered their photograph and everybody who thought about it. Now, this is the most important step in being an artist. Sharing your work with the world. All of you represent Blackwell Academy and everything our school stands for. As far as I'm concerned, you're all everyday heroes. The envelope, please. And the winner is...
Oh my, what a shocker. Victoria Chase. Mr. Jefferson, it was your incredible photography that brought me to Blackwell, and I hope I can live up to your name and fame. I also want to thank all the students for being so dedicated in their pursuit. And I'd like to dedicate this prize to the memory of Kate Marsh. She was the real everyday hero of Blackwell. Thank you. Victoria won. Big surprise. I can't believe she blackmailed Jefferson. No. Yes, I can. Who fucking cares? Rachel is still dead, and I want Nathan's punk ass now. Me too. Let's go check out the dormitories. Nathan just texted me. He says there won't be any evidence left after he's done. Shit. We have to go to the junkyard right now. Just get ready to use your rewind fast if Nathan tries to jump us. yelling. Please. Max, please hurry. Oh God, Max, look. She's still there. Don't look, Chloe. I like to declare a what the fuck, please. Okay, so ladies and gentlemen, that was chapter four of the Dark Room. What the fuck did I just watch?
So all this time, Mr. Jefferson has been the person under our nose, which might explain the phone call he took after Kate Marsh. More importantly, I have no fucking idea what I just saw. Is Chloe really dead? Well, we saw her die, but is, is she going to come back in Chapter 5? I mean, wow. Okay. Um, okay. Uh, that was a, a lot to take in. Okay. So our results. I refused Chloe's request. I let Warren beat up Naven. I, uh, no one got hurt. And, uh, Victoria believed your warning. I think we're going to find out he has this obsession in his photography to go further and further and further and further. Okay, so, anyway, anyway ladies and gentlemen, um, that was episode four, The Dark Room, which was by far the darkest episode that we have seen so far. But may I say that I am loving this. I am loving this very much. Uh, for the viewers who I've had on this video, thank you very much for checking it out, you know, and uh, having a go. I will be live casting episode 5 in the next, or within ha within the next half hour. Um, so thank you very much. Thank you for checking it out. And here it is. Um, this is the screen for episode 5, and I am going to leave it there. Okay, folks, um, thank you very much. If you enjoyed this video, please like, share, and subscribe, and um, stay tuned for more. I should also announce that I am looking to try and make a certain kind of segment of uh, episodic games. Besides Life is Strange, I also have Tales from the Borderlands, which was also available a month or two back on PlayStation Plus for a free download. Uh, I'll catch you guys next time, and until then, um, always find love in these kind of games. They are scary, but they are pretty badass. Thank you very much.